the trade deadline. The All-Star Game and the trade deadline. Those are always the stories, right? Love it. In July. So Brad Hand, we've been hearing chirping for, I don't know, since he's been a Padre. Yeah. He's been so good since the Padres picked him up off the waiver wire from the Marlins. What's the latest? Let's take the temperature on his uh, on the level of interest in him, I guess. Yeah, I mean, a, a ton of interest, as you would expect. Um, you know, a number of teams. Interestingly, Boston can use some bullpen help right now. And I say interestingly because, remember, two years ago in 2016 when the Padres traded Drew Pomerantz to the Red Sox, and that's when the Padres got in some hot water for not fully disclosing injuries. Uh, the commissioner's office got involved, nixed the trade with Florida. Uh, the Red Sox had a chance for a do-over, but they said, no, we'll take Pomerantz. And that's when A.J. Preller was suspended for 30, game, 30 days later in the summer. Now, here we go, two years later. At the time, remember, the talk is, well, how will this, might this affect the Padres' trading partners? You know, will people trust the Padres? Whatever. Now, I talked to one source, Boston source, said, hey, will the Red Sox hold a grudge? They need relief help. Brad Hand's available. Maybe there's a deal to be done. Dave Dombrowski always, you know, he excels at making deadline deals. Boston source told me, no, look, there are only 29 other teams. If somebody has a player that can help us, we're not going to not deal with that team. So I think, you know, I don't know, I'm not saying he's going to go to Boston, but Boston is in play, and I think there'll be conversations. Yeah, I think if you're a Padres fan, you sit there and say, well, why would they trade Brad Hand when they just sign him to a long-term deal? It's a team-friendly deal. Mm -hmm. And I think a, a lot of people in the organization feel that next year is the year where they have to really contend. If you're going to contend... You need somebody in the back end of your bullpen. If someone is identified as they can take over that role, yeah. I think they will make the move if they get the players that they're asking for. It's going to be a high price tag because of that team-friendly deal. From the Padres' perspective, it has to be overwhelming for that deal to happen. I don't think that's going to happen. I, I think Brad Hand is going to be in a Padre uniform, and he's going to continue to close games. You know, one of the teams we're hearing that has some level of interest actually surprises me in part. And that is just up to five from us. The Angels apparently have interest in hand in bolstering their pen. Well, yeah, they, they are looking for pitching. Guys, they're desperate. They, a couple things on the Angels. One, they're, ten, they're 11 and a half games back right now. They fell behind to Oakland, but they're still three games over 500, and they think that they can win. Still, their attitude is if we get some pitching, we can make a good second half run. They currently have 10 pitchers on the disabled list. They put John Lamb on. Lamb started yesterday in Boston. He lands on the DL today. You all know about Shohei Otani, mm -hmm. uh, Matt Shoemaker. Uh, their closer to begin the season, Kenyon Middleton, is out for the year. So they, they think with Mike Trout, they're not willing to give up because they still think with Trout on the team, they want to try to do everything they can to win. Yeah, and I think if you look at Mike Trout and, and not being able to be on the playoff in the playoffs and then going deeper it is it is a black eye to baseball not only the angels so the pressures of that really comes into play also you got to think of the angels don't have a strong farm system so i think aj preller and the padres are going to ask for a major league ready if not a controllable young player that's a position player it sounds like that's what they're looking for and i can't blame them that's mm. what you need to have if you have so much pitching coming up in the farm system. It's just interesting to me that the Angels would even try to figure out a PR battle unless they are so confident that Seattle's just going to fall by the wayside and maybe they can pick up that second wild card. It's just a, a I think it, it might just be one of those situations that it may be best served to leave well enough alone.